Hey guys, I just want to share the print of my uh, shirt. I'm not perfect, but I'm awesome. <laughs> uh, let's have tutorial. English, Tagalog, and Bisaya. If I pronounce not well, then just bear with me. And also with my Tagalog, no problem with my Bisaya, but because I'm Bisaya. The first word or like phrase here is good morning. What is good morning in Tagalog? It's magandang umaga. Again, magandang umaga. And in Bisaya, it's maayong buntag. Maayong buntag. Good afternoon. Or good noon. In Tagalog, that is magandang tanghali. Tanghali. Magandang tanghali. In, in Bisaya, it's maayong odto. Maayong odto. Good evening. Good evening. So, in Tagalog, magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. In Bisaya, maayong gabi eh. Maayong gabi eh. It's welcome. In Tagalog, Tagalog and Bisaya, no, I mean, in Tagalog, it's mabuhay. So, like, welcome. So, it's mabuhay. But in Bisaya, it's the same thing, like, mabuhay or kumusta, something like that. Thank you. Like the word, the phrase, thank you. It's the same thing, Tagalog and Bisaya, it's the same, like, salamat. Salamat. Beautiful or pretty. So, in Tagalog, maganda. In Tagalog, maganda. In Bisaya, guapa. Guapa. Handsome. Tagalog is pugi. 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 In Bisaya, guapo. So, for the girls, it's guapa. And for the boys, guapo. That is Bisaya. House. Like home. In Tagalog, bahay. Bahay. In Bisaya, balay. Balay. Food. Food. So, in Tagalog, pagkain. Pagkain. Then, in Bisaya, pagkaon. Pagkaon. So, it's the same, like, there's words like the E on the O. They change. That's the, that's the only difference. And then, water. Water. So, it's the same. Uh, Tagalog and Bisaya, it's the same. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Here, chicken. Uh, the same thing. Tagalog and Bisaya, manok. The same. Manok. But I heard from uh, my ex landlord that manok here in French is uncle. Uncle for in French. Manok, goat. Like animal, goat. In Tagalog, kambing. In Tagalog, kambing. But in Bisaya, kanding. Boy or man. In Tagalog, it's lalaki. Lalak, lalaki, lalaki, but in Bisaya it's laki, so no more la, the first la, so the just the laki. Girls or lady, Tagalog is babae, babae, but in Bisaya it's babae, babae. So there's a change for the last one, the last. Two letter in Tagalog is E and for the Bisaya it's Y so babae then babae and we call also our laki or lalaki dodong in, and the girls inday for that is for the Bisaya too so dodong for boys or men 
then girls in day in car or vehicle in tagalog we we, we call them kochi 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 or in bisaya it's sakyanan or auto auto or sakyanan so, the word what like what are you doing or so in tagalog ano ano then in bisaya it's unsa unsa in where where so like where are you going or where do you live in tagalog it's saan saan uh, in bisaya it's asa asa ka asa when 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 is the meeting or when can i meet you so in tagalog it's kailan 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 and in bisaya it's kanusa kanusa how how so in tagalog it's paano paano and in bisaya giunsa giunsa why so why in tagalog bakit bakit then in bisaya ngano then for the numbers like one to one number one in tagalog is isa in bisaya uno so a kind of a uh, spanish word in bisaya uno number two like two in tagalog dalawa dalawa in bisaya dos dos number three three in tagalog tatlo tatlo in bisaya tres tres number four four apat apat in bisaya upat upat number five or five in tagalog lima lima in bisaya or cinco or six so six anim in tagalog anim anim then in bisaya unum unum okay seven in tagalog pitu pit in bisaya pitu the same Ayan. then eight eight is walo the same thing walo so correct me if i'm wrong because i'm confused with six out of seven eight then for nine it's siam siam nine for sorry the same nine then for ten ten in tagalog is sampo sampo in bisaya napo that's only until ten because more difficult for me for the Messiah in the then I have sentences here let's do some sentences then I will make translate it to Tagalog and Bisaya here like dig in dig in like for the eating time uh, in Tagalog kainana kaina kainana in Bisaya Mga una, mga una ta, mga 
sentence here. What is your name? What is your name? So, in Tagalog, ano pangalan mo? Ano ang pangalan mo? Ano ang pangalan mo? In Bisaya, kinsa imuhang name? Then, where do you live? So, in Tagalog, saan ka nakatira? In Bisaya, asa ka nagpuyo? Asa inyo ha? Then, how old are you? How old are you? In Tagalog, ilang taon ka na? Ilang taon ka na? Sa Bisaya, pila imong edad? Pila imuhang edad? Then, I have here, how are you? How are you? In Tagalog, kumusta? Kumusta? Uh, in Bisaya, it's kumustamos. Kumustamos, amigos. Some, then, I'm going to buy chicken. I'm going to buy chicken. In Tagalog, bibili ako ng manok. Bibili ako ng manok. In Bisaya, magpalit kog manok. Magpalit kog manok. What show are you watching? Oh, in Tagalog, they might say, Anong pinanood mo? Anong pinapanood mo? Bisaya, unsay imong gitanaw? Unsay imong gitanaw? Unsay salida? Am I pretty or beautiful? Am I pretty or beautiful? And in Tagalog, maganda ba ako? Maganda ba ako? Then in Bisaya, guwapa ko? Guwapa ko? I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. So in Tagalog, may pasok ako bukas. May pasok ako bukas. Then in Bisaya, trabaho ko ugma. Trabaho ko ugma. The most important thing here, the phrase I love you. I love you. In Tagalog, mahal kita. Mahal kita. In Bisaya, gihigugma ko ikaw. Gihigugma, gihigugma tika. Gihigugma tika. And there's, there is also a difference between uh, Canadian slang and American accent. So usually Filipino is our medium is instruction is mostly uh, it's American accent. But once you get in Canada, they have their own words too. They, have, they, they call it Canadian slang. Uh, it is the in, idiomatic expression. Like, so I, ha, I have only two words here. I forgot more. But if I remember some words, I will write it down then share it with you guys. American accent, space is like, I need more space if you need a space to stay in or you want to get in or you need more space for canadian slang they, they, say, they will say i need a room i need a room okay another uh, american accent it is let's eat let's eat or eating time or visiting in your place oh let's eat we always invite Filipinos, very accommodating, like, you know, then, but in Canadian slang, they always say, dig in, so that's the word, let's eat or dig in. If you, if you are going to analyze dig in, it's like, magkaut ka, magkaut. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for my channel.